Mrs. Napa traits up them stairs. What's your name, love? Soames. Well, Soames, I don't know what I'd have done with that case if I hadn't found you down in the vestibule committing a public nuisance. Here we are. Don't spend it all at once. Oh, thanks, Queenie. <laughs> Queenie's back, my mum. Quick, get in the kitchen. Get in the kitchen. Go on, no noise, no noise. Quick. Hello, Queenie, love. Hello, ma. Hello, ma'am. Fancy seeing you here. You're back early, love. We didn't expect you back till midnight, love. Well, it is midnight. And Douglas has turned back into a pumpkin, as usual, I see. Sure, up. <laughs> well, uh, what a nice surprise. Um, hey, Quinny, uh, why don't we step out for the drink, love? Yeah, come on, ma'am. Midnight? I've only just come in. <laughs> What's that? Uh, mice, ma'am. Mice? Sniggering? Uh, mice having a party, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Quinny, uh, why don't you go off to bed, love, and uh, we'll get rid of the mice and bring you a nice yeah. cup yeah. of tea, eh? Hey, who's put the lights on? <laughs> Turn it off. All I can see in that corner is my reflection. Turn it off. <laughs> What have you all had the light off for? Uh, uh, never you mind, Mum. Oh, you'll go and put your feet up, Mum, and rest. If I get my feet up, it'll be to take one of my high-heeled shoes. And what exactly has been going on in here? Uh, uh, it, 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 what a seance. Um, two knocks for yes, one knock for no. Yes, right. we were trying to get in touch with the other side. Don't go in the kitchen, kitchen Mum! <laughs> Getting in touch with the other side? Getting your mucky hands on the other sex, more like. What the hell's that lot doing in the kitchen? Waiting for the results of the Miss World contest? They wanted to help with the washing up. Oh, scrubbers. <laughs> <laughs> right, come on. Out of it, you lot. Come on. I'm surprised at you, Mona Slaythwaite. I thought you were engaged to that nice boy that works on the railways. Him? He works nights. And so do you, I see. <laughs> Out. Good night, Mona. Good night. Good night, Valerie. Good night. Good night, Mona. It has been a pleasure. Good night, Jack. Some other time, maybe, when you three aren't so scared of her. <laughs> I can only thank God that my poor husband is not here to see how his flat is being misused. Oh, come off it, Queenie. I mean, Lionel is a bit of a lad himself. Is? Did I hear you say is? Uh, was a bit of a lad, Queenie. Was, uh, before he married you. That's right, he was. And he taught you boys how to act proper with girls and use the proper places. Like that bit of waste ground at the back of the meat market. <laughs> or, uh, or empty bush shelters. I'd catch me death at cold. Oh, Mum, those were nice girls. Well, what were you hiding in the middle kitchen for, then? Well, we thought you might not like it. You're dead right I don't. And neither will Mona Slaithwaite's fiancé, nor Yvonne Filer's dad, or Valerie Hill's probation officer. Yeah, well, Valerie Hill's not in need of care and protection, I can tell you. <laughs> well, you two are, and you don't get it from your uncle. It wasn't my idea. I'm disgusted with you. You... You're old enough to be those girls' father. You come to think of it, you and Yvonne Filer's mother were... Yes, yes. <laughs> I thought of that, Queenie. That's uh, why I stayed with Mona. I wouldn't marry Mona. She's got spots. Marry? What the hell would you want to get married for? So I don't have to use those empty bus shelters. <laughs> have you got no ambition? Have you got no target in life? Yeah, Yvonne Filer. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. What's the use? I suppose I shall just have to realise that you two have got to stand on your own feet. You're not little boys anymore. You're men. Now get to bed, the pair of you. <laughs> oh, Go on, get out of it. Oh. You know what's wrong with you, Queenie Shepherd? You're just a spoil sport pretending to be a wonderful mother. I'm what? A dog in the manger. Just because Lionel's away and you're feeling a bit starved, everybody else has to do without, don't they? Oh. Queenie, the national anthem. <laughs>
Good night, our queen. Good night. <laughs> it has finished, Douglas. Soon be starting again, though, ma'am. Oh. Ah, oh, ma'am, something might happen. Douglas, I've got a little treat for you. Oh. Close your eyes. <laughs> Why did you do that for? Why didn't you come down the bus station to meet me, you square-eyed middentin? I had to drag that case up here myself and pay for somebody to fetch it up here. I had to watch the news. Well, you didn't think ribble buses were going to ask the BBC to flash a message up on the screen, did you? <laughs> I mean, can't you do anything? We brought Nina Bacon up for him, but she went home. You didn't do anything mucky, did you, Douglas? Of course you did. He showed his matchbox tops. <laughs> Shut up, you chump. Matchbox tops. It's a wonder he didn't show any dinky toys. <laughs> <laughs> you keep out of it, Casanova. Casanova? Wasn't it marvellous? Just do a little bit of what comes natural. What you've been doing this last two days, eh? Up to Carlisle to see Lionel. I don't imagine you two compared matchbox tops. I bet you're exhausted. What I do or not do is no concern of yours, you dusty-minded crow. You look knackered to me, Mum. <laughs> That's it. Go on, get to bed, the lot of you. Go on, get out of it. Oh, you dog tired, Mum. Even I can tell. If you think I'm exhausted, you've got another thing coming. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Thank you, Bunny. That was a lovely cup of tea. What a flying start to a Monday morning. Didn't you like the toast? It was delightful and so prompt. I made it on Saturday night to be on the safe side. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'll return the compliment and just do the washing up. Thank you, Jack. Weather. I'm going to watch Chelly. There's nothing on the telly now. There's the test card, ma'am. The what? The test card. Today's the day it moves. <laughs> Uncle Jack told me, if you stare at it long enough, the little girl pokes a finger in the teddy bear's eye. <laughs> Douglas, love, your Uncle Jack is pulling your leg. Now, come on in the kitchen and help me with the washing up. Ah, oh, man, the teddy bear. Get in there before I poke my finger in your eye. <laughs> I don't know. They, they didn't seem to be off as much as this in here last night when I looked. I know. We had some under our beds. <laughs> they put that in the sideboard. Now, where have they gone to, that mucky lot? Down the social security. Get some money. Uh? What are they going to do, a smash and grab? I think Jack would probably be better off getting a redundancy payment on his brain. He certainly won't get any money for swanning about with girls. Quite right, Joe. Girls are soppy. You really think that, don't you? Girls are soppy. Well, look at it this way. Have you ever seen one sup seven pints in an evening? <laughs> No, but I'm sure that uh, you could find one if you look far enough. You never do, though, do you? I'm shy, ma'am. You weren't shy with that greeter, Kellogg. Now, many's the time that your father's given her father a good clip round the ear when he came round here complaining. Now, what you've got to do is treat other girls just like you used to treat her. I do. She likes matchbox tops. Oh. <laughs> What do you say when a girl comes up and says to you, hello, Douglas? Oh, sure. I thought so. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? Well, you've got to lead them on a bit. You've got to say things like, hello, Valerie, that's a nice dress. How lovely you look. Hello, Valerie, that's a nice dress. How lovely. <laughs> and then I'm away, am I? Well, no, but that's just the groundwork. Now, look, I'm Maureen, and I'm wearing a nice dress, and I'm, and I'm going to come in and say hello to you. Right. Now, I'm coming in. Hello, Maureen. Valerie's wearing a nice dress today. <laughs> you stupid clog. Look, do you know any girls called Samantha? 
No. Right. Well, now, I'm Samantha. I'm wearing a nice dress, and I'm coming in, and I'm going to say, hello, Douglas. Right? <laughs> hello, Douglas. Who are you? <laughs> I am Samantha. I don't even know you. <laughs> The dress I'm wearing. It's a bit like that other girl, Valerie's. <laughs> oh! But I like it, I like it, I like it. <sighs> Why I ever went down to your school and complained about your progress, I shall never know. <laughs> if that's the rent man, there's nobody home. <laughs> this is a recorded message. <laughs> Mrs. Petty, I am here in my official capacity, Mrs. Shepherd. Oh, what is your official capacity? Seven or eight pints? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Shepherd, as chairman of the Doom Watch Committee of these flats, I am here to tell you of the scandalous goings on over your absence in the weekend. Well, whatever you've done, love, I forgive you. <laughs> Not me, Mrs. Shepherd. Uh. I refer to the nefarious doings of your sons. Now listen, prod nose. Ma'am, ma'am. I don't think you know what's been going on, Mrs. Shepherd. The kettle's boiling, ma'am. Well, take it off then. Your sons, <laughs> barring that one, of course, him being so backward. I have... think you do him an injustice. As a matter of fact, he's coming along very well. Uh, the kettle's just boiling. Why don't you step inside and find out for yourself? Yes, well, I have left messages that I'm to be searched for if I'm not back within 15 minutes. <laughs> Very wise. Do take a seat, love. I won't be a jiffy. What have you invited her in here for? Because it's good practice, that's why. Now get in there and chat her up. Chat her up? What for? <laughs> Because it's good practice, that's why. And if you succeed, you can watch that test card for the rest of the week for all I care. Can I? Yeah, now get in there and be bold. Bold? Bold, yes. <laughs> Hello, Samantha. <laughs> what a nice dress. How lovely you are looking. May I whisper a little something in your ear? If it's about your mother, yes, go on. Drop them. <laughs> Do what? Drop them, you silly old bag. <laughs> silly old bag? You, you? Uh, yes, well, I know exactly how to deal with your sort. I shall turn the other cheek. <laughs> ah, Jack and apes! It worked! It worked! You should have seen her face from where I was! It didn't work. It didn't work at all. Eh? I did all the chatting up, and then I said, drop them, and she didn't. You said, be bold, and it didn't work, and I failed. Oh, you were wonderful, love. I wasn't wonderful. I'm a failure. Oh, poor little fellow. It's all my fault. What can I do to cheer him up, poor little baby? I know. I'll pop down and get him a nice bottle of rum with a teat on it. All that way down the Labour Exchange, and they don't even give us our bus fares. Well, we walked. What's that got to do with it? It's the principle of the thing. Well, we just have to wait till a black bloke gets on the counter. We all look alike to them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes, Queenie. Here's our chance for the drink. Yeah, right. Hello, Queenie. Love that. Uh, right, mine's a pint. Mm. Yours mm. is the round, if my memory serves me right. Mm. Oh, is it? Uh, well, if you'll excuse us, we've got some business to attend to. Yes. See you later, Mum. Oh, well. I fixed up that little matter, Queenie. Oh, thank you, Cyril. 
There's a little surprise coming for you, Douglas. You remember that Greta Kellogg we were talking about? Well, she's coming down here to have a drink with us. Oh, ma'am, I'm not ready for her. Now then, Douglas, there's a lot of people been to a great deal of trouble to fix this for you. Her dad is a buffalo, like Cyril. A buffalo? Yes. <laughs> and he's managed to find out where she's living. I thought she'd moved. I've not seen her for years. Neither have I, love. So, if you play your cards right, what better could you ask than a nice, quiet, restrained girl like that? Re 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 restrained, ma'am? Hey, Phyllis! Oh. Hey! Come on, Jack, look at this! Ooh, well, fire! Ooh, Ooh. Uh, Miss Kellogg, greet her. Greta? Introduce yeah. us then, Mum. Uh, well, this is uh, my son Raymond. Not many of those in a pound, is there, love? Uh, <laughs> and that's my other son Bernard. Funny to you, darling. And that's my brother-in-law, Jack. Hello, darling. Where you been all my life, eh? Well, I wasn't even born for half of it. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Douglas. Hello, Samantha. <laughs> what a nice I can't do it, man. Douglas! Douglas! Come back out here! Douglas, your brothers are going to get her if you don't. Douglas! I'm not coming out. She's a buffalo. She's <laughs> not. Her dad is. Look, Douglas, I have been to a lot of trouble to get this girl down here for you. Now, I can't do all your chatting up for you. Well, I can't do it. I'm a failure. Look, Douglas, I think she likes the look of you, what she's seen so far, that is. But uh, why don't you just come out here and have a little look? What? Have a peek. Right, got you! <laughs> what did you do with? Where's Douglas? Where's my son? Well, there's a young lad in there, but I never went near him. Well, see that you never do! <laughs> hey, your Douglas not well, then? He's never been better, love. Uh, he's just popped in there to do his own work, you see, ready for when he starts to take his diplomas. Jack, go in there and see if the light is good enough for him to read by. Hey? Go and get him. Oh. I'll leave him, ma'am. He'll have to come out in the end. He'll have to answer the call of nature. That's where he is, you clown. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Douglas, are you coming out or do I have to come in there after you? This is Father Hogan here. Don't do it, Douglas. Think of your wife and kids. <laughs> All right, Douglas, I'm coming. <laughs> oh! Oh, he is a card, our Douglas. <laughs> He's gone. He went through the little window. I thought you caught him. No, I caught me flaming fox. <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. Well, where's me drink? Then I might catch me death of cold. That's not all you'll catch. Look, you better go home and change your clothes and get hold of Douglas, cos he's bound to have gone back there and bring him back here. I want to talk to Greta. Look, Greta, <coughs> you will not get a single drink out of me tonight until you do. Now, hurry up. Hang about, darling. I'll be back. <laughs> What a pity. Who's playing footsie with me? <laughs> Sorry, Mum. Where are your hands? Down here. We'll put them on the table. <laughs> and you, our Raymond. Douglas is a, is a clever fella. He's, he's, a, he's more of a thinker, you see. He takes after me, naturally. Um, he's a boy with, with very deeply held convictions. I've got more, though. More? <laughs> convictions. Driving without due care and attention, <laughs> drunk and disorderly four times, causing an affray three times, insulting behaviour, no dog licence and overdue library books. Well, what about me, then? Breach of the peace, five times, assaulting a police dog, being an incorrigible rogue, and during that heat wave last year, thanks to Mark Petty's binoculars, indecent exposure. Chicken feet. Well, it isn't, then. Well, well, it isn't. Look, if you two want to argue about your records, go somewhere else right, and do come it. on, skinny Come on, you. Well, what's Listen, before, then? Go be the lab, You see, Greta. Greta. What would you want with either of them? Hello, Greta. Greta. Have a fag, love. Mm, for export only. I get them off a mate of mine who works on telly. Shaw Taylor. A lot of stuff comes his way, you know. <laughs> where is he? Who? Oh. Douglas, where is he? Oh, he's at home watching telly. Oh, I told you to bring him back here. I couldn't. He locked himself in the lavvy with it. Oh, I give <laughs> Hey, Jack. We're going to fight for it. Fight for what? The chance to have a crack at her. Oh, you won't stand much chance with her if you're covered in dirt. Hey, what a good idea. I'll be ref. Right. Stay cool, darling. I'll move on. Hey, are they really going to fight? Well, why don't you 
could try and stop him. Oh, bubbles to him. The fresh air will do him the world of good. I'm not fighting any longer. Yes, you might clear off. You're right. Whoever's done best at the end of two minutes wins, right? I want this to be a good, clean fight. Marquis of Queensbury rules. Right then. Two minutes. Are you ready? Go. Anyway, you're going to get a sick lip this time. Come on, mate. Me. Just be careful. Ah. Yes. Hang on a minute. Just a minute. My glasses. That's not you, Alessia, that's it. Oh. Ah! 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 Let me put my glasses down. Get them down, then. Right, just a minute. Not to break them. Oh, that lip. Ah, you know all that clever down on the floor, are you? I'm bigger than... Be careful. So, you really got me going now. Oh! below the belt. Here, <laughs> <laughs> Jack! It's now two minutes off yet! Yeah. Can't be very hygienic, Queenie, rubbing it in like that. Of course it is. Wakey, wakey. The evening's all over, you gay caballero. Sure up. <laughs> what have you lot been doing? Fighting for your Greta. Greta! <laughs> Who against? What another, you fool. And they lost her. Huh. You know, I think you're the only one that's come through the day unscathed. You're quite right to stay away from girls, Douglas. I know I am. Ma'am, you don't need to go in that kitchen, do you? Why? What's in the kitchen? Douglas, have you got someone in there? Douglas, you crafty little monkey. I think you'd better start running. Hey, who hey. the hell's he got in well, there? Why not play that? Mona! Valerie! Oh. He's been knocked in our birch! <laughs> Diane, come here! Oh, uh, I've got no more worries about my Douglas. Three at a time, just like his dad. <laughs> <laughs>